What's the best sheet size for construction documents? In my experience, there's one size that fits all of my residential design drawings and makes printing cheaper and easier. <sighs> hey, it's Mike Brightman here with more SketchUp workflow to help you design, document, and build using SketchUp Pro. A professional title block frames and organizes your drawings, serves up important project information, and honestly gives a first impression of your firm. But what's the best size? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite sheet size that fits all my design projects and show you how I print perfectly scaled half size sets in my office without a giant plot. This saves a ton of time and money. Let me show you. When you start a new project in layout, you're prompted to choose a template. And really you could think of these as title blocks. The same title blocks have been shipping with layout for over a decade. These title blocks didn't look that good in 2010 and they certainly don't look any better today. Let's get rid of them. Click on the edit dropdown, layout on Mac and choose preferences. On the folders tab, we can go to our templates and that first template path is selected and we can just remove it. Now, if you fall off your drafting stool, bump your head and decide that these title blocks do look good, well, you can always get them back by clicking restore defaults. Now, when I click on file new, I only see my seven Condoc templates. Now be sure to stick with me to the end because after I show you my favorite sheet size, I'm gonna show you how to download and install two of my favorite title blocks that I use on my own projects. So my title blocks are broken into two categories, presentation and construction documents. When I'm casually presenting, I like to use a lightweight presentation title block. It has my logo, file name, the date, and page numbers. That's about it. And typically I'll use eight and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. These are great for diagrams, schematic plans, and scaled sketches. Later in the design process, I switch to a more professional title block that shows more information and sits on a larger sheet. Okay, here it is. My favorite sheet size is 24 by 36. This is also called an arch D size. All right. And I like this sheet size because it always fits my residential design projects and it can be oh. scaled down to 50% so that I can print half size sets on a 13 by 19 sheet of paper in my office. Now, let me open a project and show you how I do this because honestly, it's not that intuitive. So this is a project that we just got permitted here in Denver. It's currently under construction. And let me show you the sheet size. If I go to file document setup on the paper tab, you can see that we're using an arch D 24 by 36 sheet. Now, if I want to print this set, I'm going to go to the file dropdown and your first instinct might be to go to print. That's not what I do though. I go to export PDF. I'm going to save this one to my desktop temp folder. I definitely want to export all the pages. I want my output resolution to be high. I'm going to use JPEG compression. Certainly I want the better quality. And this is the real important setting, create PDF layers from layout layers. Let's uncheck that. I don't know what it was, but several years ago, I had this setting checked on, sent it to a print shop and they had a problem printing it. I unchecked it. No problem. I've never checked it since. All right, so now our PDF is open in Acrobat. I usually just take a once over, make sure that the set looks the way I want it to look. I'll click the print button and that brings up our Adobe Acrobat print dialog. Now you can see that the printer selected is our Epson Workforce 7720 and I'll click on properties. Now we need to set the paper size. So I don't wanna print this set on an eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna use a 13 by 19 super B. All right. So what's important is that this 13 by 19 will easily fit oh. half of a 24 by 36 being what 12 by 18. And we're going to go with black and gray scale. I'll choose. Okay. And so then we have this preview over here. So you can see that my paper size is let's call it 13 by 19. What's happening is it's just going to zoom the print, the entire thing at hundred percent. And then this would be the preview that we actually get. So what I need to do is put in a custom scale and set this to be 50% like that. Perfect. Now you can see that my preview window is showing me that these pages are going to fit on that 13 by 19 page perfectly. I'll click print. So this 24 by 36 inch drawing set cost 65 bucks at the print shop. And these 13 by 19 progress sets, they cost, well, I don't even know what they cost, but it was a lot less and I didn't have to go pick them up. I like working at half scale. 
I find that the 13 by 19 half size sets are easier to present and manage in Redline. Okay, as promised, are you ready to install our title blocks? It's super easy. Just click that direct download link that's in the description and let me show you a trick. So once you've downloaded the file, just click on it to open it. Once it's open in layout, I'm gonna click on the file dropdown and we're not gonna choose save. We're not gonna choose save as. We're gonna choose save as template. So I like to name my files something a little bit more meaningful. So I always prefix my files with the company initials. And then we're going to call this one construction documents space dash space 24 by 36. And we'll choose OK. If I click control new, you can see that this 24 by 36 inch template will show up for you. Now, if you want the rest of our seven professional title blocks, you can just sign up for a seven day trial of our Conduct Tools extension. When you install the extension in SketchUp, it automatically drops those title blocks in the layout and they are yours to keep, even if you cancel and don't pay a dime. Okay, it's time for me to get back to work, but I'm thinking for you, the journey is just beginning. So be sure to check out this video on how to protect your hard work and layout by locking down your drawings. I'm positive it's gonna save you a ton of headaches and heartache. I'll see you next time.